Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast day of the Apostles, St. Simon and Jude. The Apostles are our foundation, and through their faith, through their prayers, through their steadfastness, even in trials, we also become strong in our faith in Jesus. And so in this celebration, we present to the Apostles our petitions so that they could bring them to Jesus our Lord. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we, adore you, we glorify you. We, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, 
Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of Saint Simon and Jude that the church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you are also being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voices is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Cariot, who became a traitor. 
Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. As we celebrate today the feast day of two apostles, St. Simon and St. Jude, I would like to begin our reflection from our first reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians in the second chapter. We will see, my dear brothers and sisters, that St. Paul, in his letter to the Ephesians, uses the image of a house. We are the house, St. Paul says in his image. And what is the foundation of the house? St. Paul said it is the apostles. The apostles is the foundation of that house. But if the apostles are the foundation, then who supports that foundation? St. Paul says it is Jesus who is the capstone, the cornerstone, who is holding this house together. Ang sinasabi ni San Pablo sa atin ngayong araw, ano nga ba ang papel ng mga apostol? Ang simbahan bilang ating tahanan ay sinusuportahan ng mga apostol bilang pundasyon ng bahay. Pero ang pundasyon na yan ay nakakabit pa sa isang mas matibay na bato. Walang iba kundi si Jesus ang nag-aayos at humahawak ng buong bahay na yan. That is why if we are founded on the apostles, then our ultimate foundation is none other than Jesus Christ. And when the foundation of a house is strong, then that house can weather any storm. It can weather any calamity because the foundation is strong. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is the foundation of this house. And when we make Jesus the foundation of this house, then, like the apostles, we can also be strong. Kaya pala, si St. Jude ay patron saint of the impossible. Medyo kakaiba po yung titulo ni St. Jude. Patron saint of the impossible. Ibig sabihin, kaya niyang magdasal kahit sa tingin niya ay imposible na. Bakit kaya ganon si St. Jude? Kasi ang pundasyon niya ay si Jesus. If Jesus is your foundation, then you can pray and you can even believe when you are faced with the impossible. Kaya pala matibay at malakas ang pananalig ni St. Jude. Kaya niyang magdasal, kaya niyang maniwala, kahit imposible ang kanyang hinaharap. Dahil si Jesus ang pundasyon, ang matibay na muog ng kanyang buhay. St. Simon, who is also celebrating his feast day today, was called a zealot. He was a zealous person. He gave everything to follow Jesus. He gave everything to preach the good news of Jesus. According to tradition, St. Simon went to different places as far as Persia so that he could preach the good news. And even in the face of trial and martyrdom, 
he became strong and zealous because his foundation was Jesus. In our gospel reading today, we also see that if the apostles, the foundation of the house, is connected to the capstone who is Jesus, then where does Jesus get also his strength? We can see in the gospel today that before choosing the apostles, the 12 apostles, Jesus spent the night in prayer. Doon pala kumukuha ng lakas si Jesus sa pagdarasal at pakikipagniig sa kanyang ama. That is why before choosing the apostles, Jesus prayed the whole night. The foundation of Jesus is his relationship with the Father in prayer. My dear brothers and sisters, today, this is the image that we are taught by St. Paul. We are the house. If we want to be strong, then our foundation should be the apostles. And the apostles connect us to Jesus, the capstone of the house. And Jesus also, by praying to the Father, connects us to God. Huwag po kayong matatakot magdasal sa mga apostol kay St. Jude. Baka sabihin ng iba, ah, praying to St. Jude is a superstition. Baka narinig nyo na yan. Ba't kayo nagdadasal sa mga apostol kay St. Jude? Parang superstition yan, no? It is not superstition. Praying to the apostles, according to St. Paul in the letter to the Ephesians, the apostles are our foundation. So when you pray to St. Jude and the other apostles, you are not making a superstitious action. You are going to the foundation. And when we are connected to the apostles, we are connected to Jesus. And when we are connected to Jesus, we are connected to the Father. The house becomes strong. My dear brothers and sisters, if Jesus is our foundation, we can pray and believe even, with, even when we are faced with the impossible. Let us make our foundation the apostles connecting us to Jesus and Jesus connecting us to the Father. Amen. Please stand. As parts of a building that has the apostles and prophets as its foundation, let us now bring our intercessions before the Father of mercies. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That there may be continued growth of the Catholic Church through the preaching and examples of our religious leaders and missionaries, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have the energy and zeal of St. Simon, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may imitate the solicitude and humility of St. Jude, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may grant healing to those who are sick and strength to those who are in despair, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may enjoy forever the fullness of God's saving power, 
which they have always longed for, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Merciful Father, as we pray for others, may we share in the apostolic service of those who were called and chosen. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Simon and Jude, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received this sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the apostles Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Salamat ang Panginoon sa iyong punan. Misyong kaloob sa ating puso, 
aming sarili ay aming handog. Naging tapat at laging tugon, narito handa kami, Panginoon. 